I remember one day I was sculpting during the daylight. I took myself in surprise when I realized that the night has fallen and I have been sculpting in the dark. Adi turned on the lights and I stood breathless. What I saw before me was something that what my soul was visualizing. Certainly not my eyes because it was dark. Went backwards. And honestly, I was petrified. What is this opening up? My bond with clay started when I simply touched it, and that was it. It created this vibrant energy and presented before me a naked truth. It was like ancient knowledge emerged. It emerged from within. It was there, but I was never maybe there. Then I realized it's not by coincidence that mythologies, religions, mentioned clay as the source of life. Whether in the Quran, the Bible, the Talmud, Greek mythology, Chinese, Sumerian, Hindu, name it. They all agreed that clay was the source of life. Science, referring to one of the last scientific research, when mentioned clay in its basic element is a combination of minerals creating this incubator, fertilized incubator, for chemicals and molecules. In the process of billions of years, it eventually creates protein, DNA, and living cells. The process. All secrets are in the process. With clay, it I mean, I go wandering, I go wandering and traveling in this world of collective memory. Our memory, all of us, not mine, it's ours. It starts by balancing my temperature to hers we become like one temperature and then I breathe through her and the same to me we become one breath and I can feel the pulse starts shaping herself in my hands changing forms changing shapes textures I become the tool I'm only the tool absorbed by this ancient energy I simply shed all my layers خلاص. and surrender to its guidance towards this mesmerizing world of human nature. We carry this within us. We are all, we are all open to this mystic truth. It's embedded in us. It's encrypted in our DNA. It's just there. In this process, when your inner self, inner raw self, is merged with the surrounding, with the cosmos, you become one. And it, this energy manifests itself in this I don't know, ancient knowledge, it's just there. And it starts teaching you and take, takes you from one level to another on a higher scale. It's endless. When I started sculpting, 
I used to throw back my sculptures to the water. I can still remember some of them. Because for me, what really I cared for was the process. It was like, I wanted more. So I don't know why, for me, I thought like, okay, let's, more. And it would lift me up and up and up. So it was the process all I cared about. I have this same experience with nature. So I have this uh, want to always commune with raw wild nature where I go collecting shells and uh, seaweeds that look like veins. And, and I re-encounter those shapes in my anatomy book, the only book I have in my workshop where, with which I reference most of my works of art. Our vessels contain experiences, a, a memory of human creation, ancient creation. Our cells behold experiences of evolution. Wow. And our bodies are molded with the four elements, water, fire, earth, and air. Just like clay, we are clay. In this process, your ego dissolves, your insecurities, your sense of possession, you become part of the whole. You're one of the whole, or you're the whole and the one. It's the oneness of being. You simply stand and praise in front of this primitive intuition, knowledge. Um, we become transparent, light, permeating this knowledge through the process. So whether you were a doctor, an account, an educator, uh, no title, we all go through this process because we all have this collective memory. This is our empowerment. This is where we take our power from. It's from within. Well, our mentee is from, from within. We just simply need to listen carefully. Thank you. <laughs>